Yeah, the sun is shining in Manchester at the moment. I'm sure it will be in Madrid a little later today as the reigning champions prepare to do battle with the team Guardiola, affectionately called the kings of the competition. Really promises to be one of those mouth-watering Champions League confrontations. Let's uh, stand to one side and let you see City currently going through their training paces before they fly to the Spanish capital a little bit later today. Um, the team news to report is that at the moment we're not seeing Vardiol or Walker or Ake out there, but the likes of uh, John Stones, Kevin De Bruyne, Jack Grealish all came past us a few minutes ago, so they look like they're all good and raring to go, of course, after that uh, terrific win against uh, Crystal Palace at the weekend. Interesting for City how they approach this one. Of course, a really, really tight Premier League title race, the tightest possible that we've uh, ever seen with those three teams involved. But this week, of course, time to concentrate elsewhere, trying to concentrate on Real Madrid. And I guess remember those uh, two previous meetings in the uh, knockout stages, the last two seasons at the semi-final stage. Fair to say the team that's played the home leg second has been successful. City, of course, will look on that as a good omen as they bring Madrid back to Manchester later in April. In terms of psychological advantage, I guess that 4-0 win in the semi-final second leg last season really something that uh, City will want to build on, you would imagine, when it comes to uh, the game tomorrow night. In terms of the disadvantages, you've got to look at a team who've been there and done it so many times. 14 times winners of the Champions League, Real Madrid. Carlo Ancelotti, the only manager to win the competition twice with two different teams, AC Milan and Real Madrid. So they will undoubtedly pose Manchester City a threat. They've had a little bit more time off. They haven't played since March the 31st because of the Copa del Rey final. So maybe they'll be a little fresher than this City side. But so many options for City, so many players such as Foden and Silver and Edison left on the bench on Saturday that uh, the team selection will be interesting, I'm sure. But in many ways, the most intriguing aspect of this particular meeting how does City handle Jude Bellingham? He's had a terrific season so far. Whether it'll be a job for Rodri or whether Bellingham will choose to operate maybe a little bit further up the field we'll have to wait and see I'm told the Spanish fans love to sing Hey Jude so will it be that refrain or will it be Blue Moon that will come out on top come uh, the game at the Bernabeu tomorrow night should be an absolutely fascinating football encounter as City aim to take one more step towards uh, retaining that terrific treble